Um, good evening, everybody. I, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to be here and, and speak with you all at this event. Um, now comes the tricky part. I'm, I have the clicker here and, and see if I'll be the first one to mess up trying to go through the slides. So. I did it right. Yeah. Um, the, the first couple of slides I'm going to go through here, just kind of give a, a brief overview of, of the local offices that service these areas. Um, farm loans is a little unique compared to farm programs in that we have 20 offices um, statewide that, that serve farm loans and, 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 and our programs. So our Russell County office, um, they, they would serve the county here in Osborne, they serve Russell and, and Barton, Ellis, Lincoln, and Mitchell. And that's just some basic contact information for that office, including um, the name of the farm loan manager, who is Mark Herman. I'm sure some of you are familiar with Mark. And then um, I also wanted to highlight our Graham County office, which uh, serves Rooks, Trigo, and then also Graham, Norton, Decatur, and Sheridan counties. And um, there's the contact information for that office, including the name of the farm loan manager, uh, Randy Tile. And really my, my goal here today is just to give a real high level overview of the loan programs we offer at FSA, and then also give you that contact information. So moving forward, if you have time to process this, you can contact those local offices with questions and, and applications. So, I'm gonna talk about the loan options we have available, which are, I'm gonna go through emergency loans, operating loans, or farm ownership loans, micro loans and guaranteed loans. Um, first in general, just some general loan eligibility items. Uh, we look at credit history as one of, one of our, our main eligibility criteria. So you have to have an acceptable credit history to get, get a loan with our farm loan programs. Um, we do test for credit, so that applies to our loans. So we don't compete with commercial lenders. So if we'll evaluate the financial strength of, of your application, and if we believe you can get a loan with a commercial lender, we'll, we'll, we'll send you that way. So you might also have to get a referral from a commercial lender for some of these loans in order to be eligible. And then the other, the other basic thing I wanna to touch on is that you have to be the owner and operator of the farm or ranch for, for the loan you're applying for. Um, real briefly, I'm going to start with our emergency or EM loans. And these are made available by da disaster designation. So right now, our agency is in the process of, of gathering the loss data for this disaster. And once that loss information is known, the request will be sent to our administrator for disaster designation. That is on a county-wide basis. So in order to be eligible, the county as a whole has to meet, has to meet a certain um, percentage of loss. Thank you. And so our, our EM loan funds can be used for both production and physical losses when applicable. Um, under this program, uh, we can loan up to $500,000 based on loss calculations. The current interest rate for these loans is 3% and the term is dependent on loss type. So if it's a shorter term loss uh, to, a, to, a, to a, like a chattel asset equipment or something, it'll be a shorter term than if it's a building loss. Um, the damage that we're loaning on must have been suffered because of the, the disaster and any duplicative assistance will be used to repay the EM loan. So uh, like Todd was just talking about ELAP and Lyft, Carl is going to be coming up here and talking about ECP. If you get any of those funds, then we, we can't duplicate that. So that has to come back on, on that loan. Um, some of the losses we can cover would include livestock equipment, stored crops, like hay and, and buildings, which isn't on here, but we can definitely cover any building loss too. Uh, those loan funds can be used to repair or replace anything lost. In certain cases, we can also use our loans to refinance farm related debt. And they can also uh, be used for farm operating or living expenses if the losses we sustain were to calves or hay stock intended for resale. Um, kind of moving away from, from the emergency loan side, these are loans that we have available with, uh, for anybody that doesn't, it doesn't take a disaster for, for, for you to be eligible for these loans. And the first one I want to touch on is our operating loan program. And under this program, we can loan up to $400,000. And our purposes could include uh, purchase livestock and our equipment to pay annual operating expenses to refinance debt. 
and for minor real estate uh, repairs or improvements that can be paid over seven years. And right now our current interest rate is 2% and our loan term can be up to seven years depending on, on what the loan is for. Um, we also have farm ownership or FO loans. And under this program, the loan amount is up to $600,000. And the purposes under this uh, program include purchase farm or ranch real estate and repair or construct buildings or make capital improvements to any buildings that are essential to the farm operation. And right now our current interest rate on, on, this, on these loans are 3% and our loan term can be up to 40 years if, if needed for feasibility. We also have uh, microloans available through FSA, and these are loan amounts that are $50,000 or less, and they can be used for any authorized OL or FO purposes. And kind of the bonus of these is it's a simpler, a simpler application process, and we try to have a quicker turnaround because we get the information faster with, with these loans because it's a less, less application. Um, the interest rate would be the same as the current OL or FO rate and the term can be one to 25 years, depending on security and loan type. And then we also have uh, guaranteed loans that, that we insure for commercial lenders. So we can guarantee commercial loans for authorized purposes up to $1,825,000. And when that happens, um, the bank will come to us for the guarantee. And we, we, can, we can guarantee that loan up to 95% of any loss they would sustain on that loan. And this incentivizes lenders to make loans they otherwise may not make due to tight repayment capacity margins, limits security and other credit concerns. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep this pretty brief. So if you need more information, um, you can contact your local office. And if they don't have an FLP presence, they can get you in contact with the office that covers that area. And there, I also put a a website link up here that you can go to to get more information on farm loan programs. And a couple items in your packet too. There's a couple of fact sheets about farm loan programs. And then this is a, a contact information map that shows where all our 20 offices are located, what, uh, what counties they cover and who you can contact if, if you're interested in loans in that area. Um, like Todd said, We'll stick around for a while afterwards. So if you have any questions at that time, feel free to, to come talk to us. But um, I just want to thank you all for, for the time of getting to talk to you and really um, wish you the best as you guys continue to regroup and rebuild from this disaster. So thanks for your time.